Hey guys, Skittle Rampage here. Welcome back to a new video. I do hope you're enjoying your day today. So we are back with Funko News. It has been a couple days. I just got back from New York yesterday. New York Comic Con was a lot of fun. I met a lot of people. Uh, still kind of recouping. I don't feel amazing. Not 100% yet. A lot of body aches, a lot of walking, all that. And an extreme lack of sleep while I was there. I was doing so many things. But for the most part, I did have a good time. And let me know how New York Comic Con was for you this year. If you attended or maybe you shopped online, what'd you guys get? With that being said though, again, we are back with our Funko News updates and we have a ton of stuff to go over today. Lots of new stuff, new things that dropped and more. Before we jump into our news though, we do have our question of the day and that is, do you have any Funko Pops that are kind of spooky looking or Halloween almost? related and I'm gonna go with Golden Freddy. Obviously FNAF is definitely spooky. Starting things off with the latest drops, we did have a new DC Comics drop and that was Creature Commandos here. We had seven brand new pops including six commons. We had the GI Robot, Eric Frankenstein, Weasel, Nina, Dr. Phosphorus, and the Bride there. And then we also had a Funko Shop exclusive of Dr. Phosphorus that is Glow in the Dark, which I think looks really cool to be honest. So the commons are available for pre-order now on places like Amazon, Entertainment Earth. I have a link down below if you do want to pick these up. And for any DC fans, let me know what you guys think about these. This is nothing I've really ever heard of until James Gunn mentioned it, saying we were getting a project for it and now we're getting pops. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Next up, we do have looks at our next Funko NFT drop, and this one's a really great one. So we do have Funko Ween Series 2, and this includes seven different redeemables. They went crazy with these guys, and it's so much better than last year. So check this out. We do have Haunted Freddy Doll. We also have Nightmare Freddy, Freddy Funko as Banshee, Ghost Proto, Judy with the Freddy Doll. I'm not sure who Judy is supposed to be, but that's interesting. Then we have Proto as Pop, as well as Freddy and Franny Funko as Pop. And if you're wondering what Pop stands for in this sense, it says Paranormal Ops Patrol there. I thought that was a pretty good play off the Pop logo. Now, on the right there, you do have the glow in the dark features there. The Freddies alone are crazy. Look at that Haunted Freddy doll, man. They killed it. And the Nightmare Freddy looks crazy with the multi-glow. I might even go for a couple of these. Usually I'm not a big Freddy person, but again, I love how these Halloween ones turned out. Now, as far as the drop details and what you need to know, the drop is taking place on October 31st at 11 a.m. PT on the drop website. And there will be standard packs, premium packs, and mythic packs. And if you've never bought any mythic packs, there's $499 available, it's $130, and there's 30 cards in there. It includes a guaranteed mythic digital pop and 29 random digital pops. So in total, there will be 34,499 packs available for this drop. I do have a feeling this one's going to sell out with how great these redeemables are. Let me know what you guys think about these. Next up for Marvel fans, we do have a couple new things. First up is a new Iron Man 8-bit pop here. So this is a Target exclusive available for pre-order now on their website, and it will be releasing on December 8th of this year. A couple more new Marvel pops. We did actually have some new prototypes spotted showing us some new Spider-Man and Venom pops. So sharing over from the Proto 101 Facebook group, we do have Venom and Spider-Man here. So the Spider-Man is gonna be Spider-Man 70s. It will be an exclusive in the future. And then Venom there just looks crazy. Look at that tongue, oh my gosh. I am super excited to see the final product on this one. I think Venom is also expected to be exclusive, but we'll see. Moving on for anime fans, we had another proto spotted, which was Bakugo in the next upcoming MHA wave, just in a couple days here. So check it out here, this is Bakugo. It looks to be pretty much similar to some of the previous pops. However, this one's gonna be without his gauntlet there, and it does have a lot more smoke around the base. For some reason, they do the same thing with Bakugo a lot. In the last few molds, they haven't really done anything crazy different, so when we officially see this one I'm not expecting a lot but let's see again guys we are expected to see that new My Hero Academia wave pretty soon here probably Wednesday one more new anime pop spotted was a brand new Gara pop and tea bundle looks like they're still doing these apparently so check it out spotted on Funko Europe we do have a glitter version of Agara. This is an upcoming exclusive. We'll find out who it's exclusive to soon. Probably GameStop or the Funko Shop. We will see, but basically is the old common just glitter. Nothing too crazy, unique, or new here. Next up for Invincible fans, sharing over from the Funko Fusion game and panel at NYCC, they did share a brand new Funko Pop coming. And this is Invincible in his blue suit. I'm assuming the bloody one is going to be a chase variation. They, I don't know if they stated that. I wasn't at the panel. This is shared over from Disc Trackers. However, 
I think it's really cool that we're getting this as a Funko Pop in the future. And again, this is going to be part of the Funko Fusion wave and some DLC coming later. Next up for my Disney fans, we do have a new Hot Topic exclusive Stitch Pop for the holidays. So check it out. We do have Stitch unwrapping the gift there, sharing over from Little Miss Chase Funkos. This one is street dated for November 29th, so most likely will drop in store and online around then. And I thought this was one of the more cute looking Stitch Pops for sure. He's opening up a pack and it has scrump in it. Obviously, I know they make a lot of Stitch ones, but at least this one's a little more unique and it's not just like repainted. Another Disney pop coming is a brand new Minnie Mouse here for Thanksgiving Parade, and this is gonna be a Macy's and Disney collab. Moving on for WWE fans, we did have a new Gunther pop spotted here. So this basically features him with one of the belts. I'm not sure exactly which kind of champion it is. I can't make it out from that, uh, that blurry picture. You guys can let me know in the comments. I don't follow WWE too much these days. However, a lot of people seem to be very excited for a Gunther Pop, so stay tuned. I'll let you guys know when it drops. So guys, that does pretty much catch you up on a majority of the new stuff you might have missed in the last few days. Now in this next section, we're gonna talk about some upcoming drops, some things that did drops, and just other updates. First up from Chow's Collectibles, quick update on their new Buggy exclusive. It does look like pre-orders are closing at midnight on Sunday, so that's your last chance to get that pre-release sticker on your Pop. After that, shipping will start in about a week or two. Please keep in mind that there are many bundles and combos to sort through. Shipping will take about three weeks. So again, just to quickly reiterate, pre-orders close Sunday if you wanna get that pre-release sticker on your Buggy Pop and they'll start shipping about one to three weeks from now. More anime drops we had recently included Ichigo as well as Monkey D. Luffy training the Kung Fu Dugongs. So these did drop over on Crunchyroll, but only for subscribers right now. So unless you have a subscription account, you cannot purchase these. And they're actually a little bit discounted if you do have that tier where you get discounts from the shop. So they come out to around like 1270 or something like that. But nonetheless, eventually they should drop outside of the subscription because if they don't sell enough, they obviously want to sell more. So it makes sense that they would drop it eventually out of that. However, if you do want to buy Ichigo right now, I can tell you that Chow's Collectibles does have him up for 20. It is a little bit more. However, it's just one of those things where if you want to get it now or wait for Crunchyroll to drop it. Actually, a quick update, guys. It does look like Crunchyroll is dropping both of these for non-subscribers starting tomorrow, Monday. So look out for that post from me on my social media. Just got that news, so adding it in really quickly. More anime updates include some upcoming restocks on the Funko shop here, so check this out. This does include a lot of different popular anime pops. We do have a Yamato, as well as a Sasori, Shinobu again, Armored Chopper again, and Marco there. And these will all be restocking on Monday the 21st at 9.30 a.m. PST. Definitely pretty crazy to see these restock again just a couple weeks later after they just restocked. So let me know what you guys think about this. It does look like anything unvaulted. They're just gonna start going crazy with the restocks as people do want them. Another One Piece update we do have is on Kizuru here. So we do actually finally have in-person looks at Borsalino here, also known as Kizuru. So this is a GameStop exclusive in the States, should still be available for pre-order on GameStop. If it's not, it most likely will be back, so stay tuned. However, he does look really great. Still sad they didn't make this one a glow though. He has the perfect opportunity for a glow chase. However, in the future, they could do something else with him, but he looks fantastic. They really did a great job with this mold. And just to let you guys know, GameStop should be shipping this one very soon. I actually got an email saying my order is shipping soon. So check your emails for that. Next up, sharing from Little Miss Chase Funkos, we do have in-person looks at the new Withered Golden Freddy exclusive. So looks like it is hitting stores now if you do want to check your local Hot Topics, as well as it did drop online on the Funko Shop and Hot Topic. The empty eyes are really cool too. I'm kind of curious if you could just like put custom eyes in there, that would be really funny, but they did a really great job on this one. Next up for sports fans, over on the Fanatics website, we did have a couple new NBA drops here. This included Steph Curry, Penny Hardaway, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and LaMelo Ball. So you can head over there if you do need these. Now the final update I have for you guys are new Funko Minis hitting five below stores. So we do have the Naruto ones and Care Bear ones. And this does give you a look at the glitter variations, chases, metallic, etc. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up today's Funko News updates. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any further questions about any of the information we just went over, drop a comment down below and I will do my best to answer it. But for now, make sure to hit that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. 
I do want to say a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And finally, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. That's Kittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page. So you can stay up to date. All right. Love you guys. See you guys next time. See you guys later. Bye.